season is upon us and hopefully you've had a successful year as hopefully we all have though that success may mean it's time to change your tax preparation plan here to advise us from Moneta Group is consultant Kara Harmon Kara welcome to STL TV hi Sarah so tell us real quick before we go into taxes that all-important subject tell us about Moneta Group well, at Mineta Group, we work with successful families on their tax planning, investments, and really everything related to their financial matters. Yeah. And so uh, this year in particular, we've been spending a lot of time throughout 2013 and heading into tax season talking about tax planning mm -hmm. and the cash flow implications. Yeah, and I've heard you all describe yourselves as the family CFO. We are. We are the family CFO. So anything related to a dollar sign, that's really, you know, the solutions. Call you know, Kara. Call Kara, <laughs> exactly. All your questions. Okay, so we've got tax questions. We've just finished a really interesting year, uh -huh. especially, you know, if you look at the last five or six years. Um, what was different about 2013? Well, it was a fantastic year. Mm -hmm. So the it, it really was a great year. The stock market was up almost almost 30 percent, mm -hmm. which really has been, um, it's been since 1997 that the stock market has posted such great returns. Mm -hmm. And the economy is on stronger growth round and businesses are more profitable. So and before, everyone's celebrating, right? Everyone <laughs> is celebrating. Well, especially because when businesses are more profitable, they tend to share some of those profits right. with their employees through bonuses and mm -hmm. pay raises. Mm -hmm. So people had, generally speaking, a good financial year. They did. And um, so and now we're preparing our tax statements for 2013. And what are you advising your clients? Well, first of all, we want to make sure we keep a little cash on hand. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because We're one thing. To turn it over. Well, one thing for certain is that for the first time in a number of years, many investors are going to be reporting capital gain income mm -hmm. on their 2013 tax return. Uh, we've capitalized carry forwards that may have been created during the financial crisis have been pretty much used up. Mm -hmm. So for the first time, they are going to be paying taxes on their portfolio earnings. Yeah. And unfortunately, there is a new ta new Medicare surtax, a new tax that um, that investors will be paying on those portfolio earnings okay. that came about as part of the Affordable Care so Act. So are you finding that your clients are aware of these changes? Are you doing a lot of educating right now? We are doing a lot of educating. Mm -hmm. Right from when the new law came out, we started explaining what the new law is, but sometimes it's not it's not quite the same until you put the numbers on paper and right. see what the difference is. So we find that especially higher income folks are have much higher tax bills this year, up to five to six percent higher mm -hmm. than they were last year. Mm -hmm. So people are gonna be paying paying some, uh, writing some checks in April. They are going to be writing some checks in mm -hmm. April. Mm -hmm. And so we're trying to um, encourage just hanging on to a little bit more cash. Yeah. So let's talk about, um, we're coming up on March right now, mm -hmm. and most people have started, at least started filling out those those um, documents, right, for their tax preparer or for their accountant. I think that's that may be a little optimistic. Ideally, <laughs> they will have started, but, I, you know, it's just very natural to procrastinate on this. You know, most people do not want to think about or deal with taxes, yeah. but it is something that, certainly something that you will be rewarded if you start early. So I, it is, it's almost March 1st, and I would encourage organizing tax data now and making an appointment and meeting with your accountant yeah. in order to get your return started. So um, I actually turned mine in. Good um, for you. To my accountant last Saturday. Very nice, good <laughs> but, for you. But naturally, I get another 1099 in the mail this week. So what do you advise people? I mean, is it good to just get, turn in what you've got and then and keep adding to that pile as um, things still come in, or? We're always talking with our CPA colleagues about what their preferences are. Mm -hmm. And so I would ask your accountant what they prefer. For the most part, I think the answer is going to be just send in what you've got. Right. They can at least get started on your return. They can put you in the queue. So when that last piece of information is in, then they'll be able to wrap up your return. Right. Um, and the earlier you get started, the more, if you do owe money in April, you'll be able to prepare for for writing that big check, or yeah. if you're one of the lucky ones who gets a refund. Yeah, you'll get it sooner. You'll get your money back faster. <laughs> exactly, there might still be a few people out there, maybe I'll be one of them, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea at this point. So we're gonna take a break right now, Kara, but when we come back, let's talk about thinking ahead 
as we go through our calendar year and what we can do to make this time of year easier next year. Does Perfect. that sound good? Sounds All right, great. So don't go anywhere. We're going to be back in a moment with Kara Harmon from the Moneta Group after this break.